I'm proud. I'm proud to be a guy. Uh, good year. Guys and be a guy. I'm proud to be a guy. I'm proud. I'm proud. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My best ever grandson in the whole wide world. I'm proud. Good year. I'm How are you doing in school too? I'm, I'm doing good. Good to good. Good day. But I'm proud. Good year. Wait. If you know it is an assignment, please kindly send it back and bring it later in the evening. I'm oh. not ready to answer questions right now. Grandpa, oh. sometimes Grandpa, you bore me too much. Uh, look at him. It. It's okay, Kodia. Bring it. What says the question? Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa, the question is a silence, a good, or a killer? Good year. Grandpa. Repeat the question again. <laughs> the question is, is silence a good or a killer? Hmm. Good year. Grandpa. Who gave you this assignment? Mr. Ousu Adiomi, my army teacher. Grandpa, why do you ask? I want to know where the question is coming from. Well, I will teach you. Okay. But please. Be a silent listener. Be attentive and listen to what I'm going to tell you because I'm not going to repeat myself no matter what. Empire raises my command. Carry on. Empire is a disciple. I'm going to buy. What has been in the phone? Good, yeah. Now, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm this is your tricky question. Reminds me my life story. I'm going to tell you. And I know after telling you the story, you'll be able to answer your question yourself. Okay, go on, go on. <sighs> but don't forget, I'll ask you questions after this story. That's why I told you to be a silent listener and be attentive. Grandpa, I come, I blam, continue. Me winti, wrong way, so fun she can see. Yes, Grandpa, what's the meaning of this language? Uh, <laughs> Grandpa, I don't know, sir, that's what they say. Oh dear, you brought it. And don't forget, the one who brought you that king brought the house flies. Into the house. <laughs> it is a Chinese traditional language. Wow. Simply means, okay, then let's continue. It started like this. Wow, Grandpa. I'm amazed. Continue. Good <laughs> hmm. Grandpa. I met your great grandmother at the tender age. She was very beautiful. Intelligent and very smart too. But so do I. As you can see, even though age has already catch up with me, but you can see your grandfather is not a fucking guy. We love each other. So we decided to get married. The necessary customs and traditions were being put together as a family demand. Finally, we got married. We were living peacefully. The love, the cohesion, the passion between us was unquestionable. But your great grandmother started exhibiting an alien lifestyle, which was an epitome to the devilish lifestyle. Mm. After giving birth to your grandmother, I mean, my first child.
That wasn't my problem. Though a lot of rumors came, but I never paid attention because if care was not taken, it can lead to a divorce. And that was the last thing I would ever do or I decided to do on this earth. Later on, a bird whispered into my ears that <sighs> your great-grandmother was having an affair with a fair guy called Sammy. Ah, Grandpa, why didn't you confront him? But I did in the as I told you, the love I have for your great grandmother was very deep to the extent that not even the entire Ghanaian Fire Service team can quench that love fire. <laughs> Same guy was very handsome. In completion. In fact, it was very difficult to decipher between Sammy and I. So, majority of our neighbors thought we were siblings. Until one day, I said goodbye to my wife to attend a business meeting at Tema to meet a business partners to discuss business. Kodia. Grandpa. I was supposed to spend three solid days at Tema. But everything went on successful for me. So, I had to return that very fateful day. Huh. I never told my wife that I was coming that day. She knew I would spend three solid days at Tema. Because I wanted to surprise her with a gift. I didn't call her. I didn't notice her that I'm coming that faithful day. Not only that your great grandmother she was having a big surprise. In fact, well packaged one for me. And to my surprise, I enter, I entered the room, and this is what I saw.
Do forgive me. <laughs> I lure my wife into this double act. And she, please. <laughs> and they forgive me. Sammy, I warned you. Didn't I? But you wouldn't listen. Stop panting. Stop panicking to me. Stop shaving thermogenesis. After all, there's one of the things in life. You better clear off yourself before I lose my temper. Come on, cut off. Wow, grandfather, that's the heart of an aunt. So what, what, what happened to my great grandmother? Did you be there? <laughs> On the same evening, I went to the room. Hmm. During that night, I entered the room and I met your great grandmother sitting on the floor. Weeping, crying like a newborn baby. I pretended to be damp and deaf. I never gave her an audience. I never asked her any question. But I went straight to the bed. But don't forget. It was the same bed hmm. that she was having an affair hmm. or having an intercourse with a sad guy, Sammy. So hmm, I changed the bed sheet and slept off. Hmm. To my surprise, Kodia, I wake up the next day. To meet this. I 
I wish I never asked you this question. I'm deeply sorry. Oh yeah. It's okay. It's okay. There is no doubt that it's Poof, Poof, and Akela. Per your story, it is a killer because your silence killed your wife. Even though she poisoned herself. But I think if you were able to talk to her in the trauma and, and the shame would have reduced. Also, your silence became good to you and saves you from a possible prosecution. Reacting to what you saw could have led to a wholesome and gruesome state. So, Nana, it's both. Hmm. Oh dear. Nana. Bravo, oh dear. You nail it. You kill it. That's the answer. Perfect one. Oh dear. It's okay. It's okay.